Today, I'm gonna to make myself a link in bio page, a page to add to my social media, to link out to various projects and things so that everything is all findable from that one spot. To make this page, I'm not going to be designing and building it from scratch. I'm actually gonna be using a ConvertKit landing page template for it, but I hope this video will be useful for you to see what decisions I make in terms of the template that I pick, how I apply my brand to it, to get an idea for how a designer makes those decisions. And I don't know, maybe it's something that you can follow along with and make one for yourself as well. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we are inside ConvertKit. This is what the landing pages uh, section looks like in case you didn't know. Just FYI, ConvertKit is a company that I work for, but I do also genuinely use the software, as you can see, for my side hustle stuff. If you wanna follow along with what I'm doing in this video, you can make an account for free. It's free for up to a thousand subscribers on your email list, so just, just saying. <laughs> I'm gonna get started by creating a new page here. I'm gonna make a landing page and I'm gonna filter it by a link page. You can actually add like a link block to any of these templates, but we do have a few that are designed specifically to like look good with links. Um, which one do I want to choose? I think I'm going to go for this one here. So let's open this up. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is change all the colors to fit my brand. So the first thing is this background color. I'm going to get my background color gray here from Figma and copy and paste that in here. Already just by changing the colors, this is feeling like more of a me page. Obviously there's still content to swap out. Let's add in my own image here. For the content of this page, I think I'm gonna copy a bunch from my website. Now that I have this in here, I'm kind of wondering what it would look like if the page was totally purple, kind of like this background on my website is. So I'm just gonna change the colors and see what we can do about that. Okay, I like this a lot better. This feels more, I don't know, just more interesting to have a fully purple background uh, than having a gray background like I had before. I also might edit the fonts just to see if there's one that I feel like would suit my style better. Oh yeah, that's the one. I feel like I wanna make this text a little bit smaller. Let's make it 18 pixels, that's better. Okay, I'm happy with how the design is looking now. I could have put my logo here in this space, but I like the idea of it showing my face. Uh, so I'm gonna keep that. And here I'm gonna edit these links now. I could just leave this here and this would be fine, but there's some more interesting stuff that I can do. So I'm gonna click here and add this icons section. And I'm going to set the color to be, well, ooh. Let's make the color be this dark purple. And then this will serve as sort of like, you know, all my social links at the bottom there. I'm also gonna add a feed of my Instagram images. I think that'll be really cool. So let me connect that up. Now uh, it puts it in like this, but I can change how I want this displayed. And I think I'll have like four across and maybe just display my latest four images. So it's just in one row. Nice, I think that works well. 
I also think that it will be more enticing for people to watch my latest video, for example, if it's not just a link like this, but if I perhaps showcased the thumbnail of it. So I'm actually gonna add a new section. Then in here, I'll add in the thumbnail of my latest video. And then I'll put a link to the video. Let me copy that link in here. So that when you click this thumbnail, you'll get taken to the video. And maybe I actually wanna have my latest two videos always here. That could be cool. I'm gonna do some rearranging here so that this section moves above these links. And I'm feeling like maybe um, my purple borders on my thumbnails aren't quite looking right with this background, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see how I feel once I get everything in place. Now to see how this page will look, I'm gonna click preview so that we see it all in action. Okay, this is looking cool. I kind of feel like I don't like the stacks of two here though. So let's do something about that. I like how this has balance where it goes from two here to four here. So maybe I need three pieces of content at the top. I don't know, maybe. There we go. Maybe we just embed the video directly on the page and then people don't even have to like click off to another link to watch it. I feel like that's a good option. Let's do that. I'm gonna get rid of this image gallery here. This is feeling good to me now. I'm really liking this. I feel like having this here, watch my latest video right at the top um, is gonna be super impactful. And it's essentially just, I'll swap out this link each time I upload a new video. These ones here will stay the same. And if I wanna promote a blog post or something as well, I could add a section about that. Um, yeah, I think this is gonna be really good. So now to finish it off, I am going to name this page. Um, so that I can find it again easily in my um, list of ConvertKit landing pages. Then I wanna set a URL for it. I'm gonna put it on pages.charliemarie.com slash mm, links. That seems like a good URL for it. This will be what people see when they fill out the form to opt into that. Let's give the page a title. And then let's save and publish. Okay, so this is my finished page. I think it's turned out well. It's more interesting than just a plain list of links. I think that seeing the thumbnail for the video, for example, makes it much more enticing to click on it and play it. I embedded my Instagram feed as well, which I think just like adds more visual interest to the page. Instead of having like a link here out to like see my dribble, follow me on Twitter, whatever, they're more subtle in these little links so that these ones stand out more, but all of the social links and like places to find me online are still easily accessible. I'm gonna embed on screen right now what this page looks like on mobile too, because obviously that's the way most people will be seeing it because it's a page to be clicked through to from Instagram. Yeah, really happy with this. Let me know what you think about it down below in the comments. I hope it was useful for you to see how I applied my brand to this and how I decided to structure the page. Um, even though I wasn't something that I was designing and building from scratch myself. And I chose this template mostly because I liked the bones of it. I liked the idea of having the photo and the email sign up up top because that's really important to me and that's something that I really want to encourage. Um, but yeah, it also allowed space for all of these other links too, which is cool. Maybe it inspired you to go and make a link in bio paid for yourself. I don't know. Um, there'll be a link in the description to sign up for a free ConvertKit account if you do want to try and follow along with what I did here. And yeah, like I said, I hope it was useful for you to see. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Have a good week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.